So Aishan is a rising junior in Doherty High School. Uh, so in addition to the tough curriculum that ha she has with a lot of AP classes, she pursues her interests like dance, music, wrestling, biking. So she has varied interests. <laughs> and uh, she has participated in a lot of hackathons and multiple science fairs. She is very smart, very curious, and has a very positive outlook. So um, the, the current project is something that Aishani brought up and she was curious about this, and she was the one who asked me, um, you know, how how do you know how do I uh, how do I uh, uh, recognize emotions in a moving video or a picture? So, and I'll give it, I'll hand it over to Aishani for her for talking about her experience. But uh, before that, I wanted to add something. And my Aishani and uh, we had a very tough time, uh, you know, the past few weeks uh, because she lost all her code to, you know, the, the code that we were working on for two to three months. She lost all her code because of Eclipse issues and laptop issues. So we had to do late nighters, you know, to, to, to basically to get it back to, uh, you know, uh, a position where she's able to demo it today. So I, I, you know, I, Aishani, I, you know, that Aishani worked really hard on that, on it, and she, she had to do it at least two or three times. At it. So I'm gonna give it to her, and she, she did lose hope. That, that was the biggest thing. <laughs> Over to you, Aishani. So I just wanted to repeat, in case it wasn't clear, what Mira was saying at the end was Aishani lost a lot of her work, thousands, hundreds of lines of code, and she actually made up for all of that in one week. And um, Mira wrote to me that they were up late night yesterday trying to fix things. So awesome job. <clears throat> Uh, so my mentor is Mira Varma, and she works at American Express, and she's uh, an engineering director there. Uh, in her free time, she likes to dance Paranatyam, and like me, she dances an Indian classical dance. Uh, she also likes to read and hike. And the best thing about Mira was, even through all these problems, she was so patient with me, and she helped me through um, the code wherever I needed help, wherever there were errors, even in this last-minute problem. So a little, bit, a little bit about my experience. So my project was to create a program using um, some techniques that detects the details in a person's face and in a photographs. So the main goal I thought of was to detect the emotions and facial expressions of a person when, the, uh, when we uh, put it through a system. So to do this, I used Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS, and I uh, incorporated this with Java code, and I used Eclipse. And from, Am from Amazon Web Services, I learned a lot about using databases, data sets, and different libraries. Um, as um, it was said before, I ran into many technical problems, which my mentor kindly helped me solve. And I learned about the terminal or command line interface uh, to help solve errors, to install different packages, and uh, all those different things. So um, the first thing I did was to experiment with the different Amazon Web Services. So some of the things we went through were Lambda, Alexa, Recognition, and S3. So Lambda is just this platform where you can put code on and it'll run it through Amazon. And Alexa is really cool because most of you probably know about it and you can use it in your own home. So you can code on your own um, to program Alexa, and then connect it to your own Alexa. Unfortunately, I don't have an Alexa, so we decided to move past this. And the thing that appealed to me the most was recognition. And yes, it's spelled with a K. Um, so basically, recognition is this platform um, where it was, it's a service where it um, helps analyze photos. And the first thing it does is to analyze the different images in the photo. So it can detect different objects, animals, people. but the most um, interesting thing to me was that it can also detect, it can also help detect the facial features in a person. And S3 is just a storage platform where I store different pictures and a little bit of code as well. So the first issue while programming initially was we had to find uh, files to download in the back end. And, um, we had to import a lot of different files since it was from Amazon Web Services. And to do this, we used um, 
Maven, and it's basically this repository where it has all these jar files which I had to download. Um, the last problem I, I ran into was Eclipse crashing. So this caused all my code to get deleted, but fortunately I had one backup file with that piece of code, so at least I didn't have to code everything again. I just had to download each jar file, like hundreds of jar files. So I had to go through and find each one, each specific one, and download it so that my code would work. So as you can see here, the first part uh, the picture on top, it's all the import things that I had to uh, import from Amazon itself. And then the bottom picture is all of the jar files that I had to download to help the, uh, to make the code actually run. Um, so this is just the, the S3, which is the storage system that Amazon Web Services has. And I stored all the pictures I wanted the system to process into this um, service. So this is just one example of the methods I used. So um, on the bottom, you can see there's get emotions, get mustache, get age range, and get gender. So those th four things were some of the main things I was looking at. So for emotions, it would say happy, sad, calm, things like that. And then for um, mustache, it would say yes, no, uh, or false, uh, or true for mustache. And then it would also say a percentage of what percent confidence um, the mustache or any of these things was there. So here's here are a few examples. So here are me and my friends, and the detective la labels for this picture were human, people, and person, and it says 99% accuracy. So the problem with this code is that um, I unfortunately I couldn't get the emotions on in time for the presentation, but if you uh, during the demo I can show that. So in this it only says the basic information like human, people, and person, so you can't see any emotions. But similarly, for this next picture, it's a crying baby. So here it also adds lip and mouth, because the lip and mouth are more prominent since there's only one big picture of a face rather than um, a picture of three people, and it's, the faces aren't as um, prominent. So this one is a little more interesting with the basic labels because there's a picture of an animal and then it shows exactly what type of animal it is too. It said brown bear, as well as all of these other features uh, and attributes. And here the percentages aren't as high, but it still said the correct um, object in the image. So the last picture, we I, I wanted to try it with a dog. This was mostly for the emotions part to see if it would detect uh, the dog as having emotions too, but unfortunately that didn't show up as well. But this one was also really specific because it said Labrador Retriever, which I don't think it is, but um, <laughs> it, um, it still showed a really specific thing, which I thought was really cool. And that's it, thank you. <laughs>